Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. Folks, you don't need me to tell you this. We are at the weekend finally and we gotta get through Friday Stand Firm to get to the two days of WrestleMania awaiting us. What a glorious weekend it's gonna be. And it's kicking off tonight in Pontiac, Michigan for Friday Stand Firm. We've got it all tonight, folks. We're gonna get another glimpse at the Jim's Memorial Royal Rumble here. We've got an eight man battle royal. All of these guys will be competing in the Jim's Memorial along with several others and a few great surprises. And we're going right down to ringside. We're going to pile all these guys in the ring and we're going to have them all toss each other off. <laughs> the man fully erect at the end, standing with his arms up high, will be the winner of nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> he will win himself the right to have to have an even bigger version of this match in less than 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Slightly over. Uh, no fresh faces, no ducky. These are all uh, these are all uh, these are all old hands in the JFW, but some of them haven't been seen for a while, I guess. Uh, you know. Yeah, probably Tarsus and Ardvac predate you a little bit, especially those versions of both Tarsus and Ardvac who defected. Well, some were forced out, some defected from the JFW to Skirmetto's High Intensity Tournament, the shit competition, and Ducky. If you haven't watched shit, what the hell are you even doing with your life, my friend? <laughs> Get onto YouTube. That's JimmyFantastic.com. We'll take you there. You can find all of Scaramezzo's High Intensity Tournament and in the VODs there. But now we are getting going hard and fast, baby. Stand Firm is officially underway. Oh, baby. Ah, uh, yes. The judge is uh, physics. I, I imagine you mean the, the, giant, the giant Sir Isaac Newton. And uh, Volcayo, yeah, is now an, is now a glorious admin fagor in the, <laughs> in the Discord. <laughs> oh baby! And yet he still can't get himself a win in the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Making yourself useful is one of the surefire ways to become a champ, or you know, just BJ five. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we'll just shoot you to the moon, no matter how many times you lose. <laughs> The most losingest win streak of all time. <laughs> <laughs> In the biggest of spots. Oh, hey, Johnny, tell your wife I said hi. Emoji, emoji, <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, it's, 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 uh, somebody's got a treat or right on their uh, anniversary. He's not going to do it. We all know that. <laughs> tell your wife I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Ardvac dangling. Can Ooh. he get up before he gets knocked off? He is back in the ring. Of course, we've got Dave up there, the fan favorite, and the only man in the ring there that's won a Royal Rumble. Oh, he bit off more than he could chew, and he tumbled over the top as Volcayo drops down and pulled the rope with him. Whoa. And out goes Dave, who I was just trying to <laughs> pick up, and he went big down. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best new meme. <laughs> as long as Peppered Biscuits is cool with it, and I gotta assume he is. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, whoever wins this, may maybe will be tiring themselves out for tomorrow. That's a good shout. It's possible, yeah. And you know, the honor of winning the first ever Jim's Memorial. You know, you go back to other competitions like the WWE's Andre the Giant Memorial. Look what winning that thing has done for any of the people. <laughs> like Cesaro, who won it and got pushed to the moon. Or Mojo Rawley, who won it and got pushed to the moon. <laughs> oh, the sad thing is they should have pushed Cesaro to the moon, shouldn't they? Oh my god, it was so perfect. Yeah. But we don't need to talk about the failings of a lesser competition. We've got 72 hours of wrestling for you basically and it's all gonna be glorious and there goes volcayo physics uh physics showed him which falls faster a bowling ball or a feather and the answer was a volcayo <laughs> yep <laughs> Are they not uh, unfortunately unfortunately because it is a memorial battle royal uh johnny five i'm 
fairly certain the dead man is not going to be attending. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Tarsus. And here's, yeah, speaking of Tarsus, he's working over former champion Descotti, trading blows in the corner there as, uh, well, it looks like Odontakelis can't read because he is hurting Ardvac right now. <laughs> Ruthless German efficiency here. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, J5. Some some stories have to stick, otherwise we lose all credibility. Oh, 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 oh. big super kick! Physics dominant. Oh, I thought he was about to put Tarsus out too. Yeah, so did that. Unbelievable! Whoa. That goes hard back, and it's down to three. Adam Ellis has had a lot of experience in Royal Rumbles and Battle Royals in the in the before times. Can he get his mojo back? He's been kind of on the back burner for a while now, but right now it's Physics standing tall. Boy. Nope, he's going. Oh no, he hasn't. Oh, Odon stays on, hangs on. Oh boy. The shell saved him, yeah, absolutely. How dare you. Oh, you're mad on the fake WrestleMania, not JFW WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, fuck you, Antsy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go watch? Why don't you go watch fucking NXT or how about uh, how about uh, what's that other one? AEW. Yeah, let's go watch AEW where they're where they're fucking where they're fucking paying millions of dollars to bring rapists back on the screen. Hi, Mike Tyson, you piece of crap. <laughs> oh, the oh. what? Tarsus <laughs> <laughs> just a bit outside on that elbow drop. Oh dear me. <laughs> Oh, oh, is he going to power bomb him out? Oh, I think that oh, might be the bomb. end of Tarsus. Critical error by missing his mark by about four feet on that elbow drop. And it's down to two. Physics looking to take advantage here of Adonta Kellis. Oh, boy. I think I think he might have him with this turnaround move. Yep. Oh. Yeah, and Physics has got to do it. The man that gravity sometimes remembers has just won it. <laughs> Physics winning the Battle Royal to open up WrestleMania weekend. Can he do it again tomorrow in the main event of night one of WrestleMania? And that all kicks off at 8 p.m. UTC right here on Jimmy Fantastic's Twitch. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> all of the names. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Congrats, Physics! Big win. One of his first, first uh, real like you know like showcase wins there. Yeah. And winning Battle Royal ain't easy, and he just did it. But he's got a 20-man Royal Rumble ahead of him tomorrow night. We'll see if he can go two for two. Yep. <laughs> Don't you dare think such thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, Antsy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go. Another showcase from uh, two great Saturday night matches in WrestleMania. We've got the YPA, the both former champions. That's JBG and Foxamania. They'll be joined tomorrow night by literally Sean Bean as the full-on Yorkshire Army goes up against the crew. That's CR Capital. E-W-E. The crew have reunited. Artemis Black gets to play a children's game once again. <laughs> and on the other side of things, we've got Dressed for Business. Lemon is good. Fant Fox. Tag team extraordinaires. Former champs. But they have, they've kind of been mired in the mid-card recently. And maybe tomorrow night, they will get a chance to recapture their glory as they go up against a tag team like none other <laughs> folks and I'm definitely not stalling as I check the card. Rude ham. Rude ham. Oh, oh wow, I that backfired. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Totally forgot who it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> they are in fact like no other. That's true. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. they hey they make every card that Fault Force buys some Twix ahead of. 
And yeah, that was a dominant performance from physics, wasn't it? I wonder how it's going to be interesting to see him in the Gyms of the Ring Memorial Battle Royale. Battle Rumble. R R Memorial Rumble. In fact, not, not Battle Memo Rumble. Yeah, Mor Memorial Rumble. Rumble. Because it's like Memorial Royal Memorial Rumble. Memorial Rumble. Glorious. Here we go, though. JBG and Foxamania, you know, they've won they've won singles titles. They've had some big uh, tag matches, but they've never made a deep push as tag team, you know, to become tag team champs. And maybe they could get some momentum tonight and look to the future. And speaking of tag teams, we're going to have the two contenders in a match later tonight, CBT versus DOS Hats. And both of those teams headed to a TLC match on Sunday against Breaking Storm for those two heads titles. Gosh, our tag team division is stacked. It absolutely is incredible. In the best tag team division in sports entertainment. Wrestling, whatever well, you want to call it. We know matches while I am employed by the JFW. <laughs> and given that my job hinges on beating a fucking seagull in the middle of a ring, there will be no Hamageddon matches in the JFW. <laughs> no, I think I think uh, I think the the gr the late great Mr. Jim McMahon was was against uh, Hamageddon on the on the proper shows as well. So I think it, I think that will be honoured, and I think there will definitely be no yeah. no Hamageddons. And and Ever. unfortunately for you Hamageddon fans, our current GM is Teresa Mame and <laughs> not David Cameron, so there will be no <laughs> additional pig fucking in the JFW. <laughs> the mumble stumble. <laughs> Nailed it. How do you like how do you like that American reference in British politics? Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Well done, Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to hop in the booth with Jim while I'm kicking the shit out of Elp. But it's only going to be about eight yeps worth of content. So <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> oh, dear me. And here we go. JBG versus Foxmania tying them up there with that wrist lock wrist lock but fan fucks right out of it into a headlock here nice uh grappling going on in the ring here and sends into the ropes to uh separate nice flying forearm jbg now in control oh boy oh i've been training i folks i i gotta tell you i've been i've been training real hard this week i've got skirmezzo as my trainer oh, and wow. uh <laughs> i might even release a little taste of my training regimen sometime maybe for tomorrow's show just uh, so Elp knows what he's getting into. <laughs> well, I, be I believe uh, <laughs> I have. Well, I don't believe. I believe I know that I have some footage of uh, Elp meme uh, training. And I tell you what, you're going to struggle to beat someone as as dedicated as him for this this uh, <laughs> this video he sent me. You're, you're bad at sarcasm, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> We can only hope so, Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was all me. I've been scouting. I've been scouting the fucking winged this vermin. This reminds me of world class. Back in the 1980s. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Oh, floats through. Uh, does not hang on for the pin there. Maybe going to go for it now. No, he's going to gonna work him up and going to go right back to that thigh, <laughs> that thigh cracker. <laughs> of uh, oh, the, the, the thigh PA they like to call that one the thigh PA <laughs> that's pretty good oh god what's this oh. oh double knee stomp there we've seen that in matches before a little hung up on those ropes <laughs> gotta be careful there might go right through his abdomen, and that's not where you want those ropes to be. Oh God, it's holding him! Oh God! <laughs> Somehow, some way, he's uh, held on, held on to his uh, general form. Oh, but the big boot lands. Boosh. Here we 
we go. Comeback is on by FanFox. Flying, uh, flying clothesline there. Oh, boy. And now, uh, Foxamania really got to start thinking about tagging out here. He's getting worn down by FanFox. Oh, swats off that. I think he swatted that off. Oh, look at look at Lemon. Excellent tag team acumen there, distracting. Oh, look at this. Right into Fox the Fox bottom. bottom. Excellent work and dress for business. They've been around the block a few times. Oof. Oh, but Lemon could not get in the way of JBG. Saves the match, and this one's going to continue. Oh, boy. Oh, he did. Oh, right back <laughs> up, though. Running knee. That would have put him out. Lemon's not there to save this one. And all of a sudden, Dress for Business could be in serious trouble. Not going for the pin. That could be a huge mistake. Lemon now up, as oh, is wow. JBG. And it looks like some color forming on the forehead of FanFox there. <laughs> FanFox always gets posted open, doesn't he? It's incredible. Yeah, it sure does. Oh, nice combination there. Shinbreaker into the dragon screw. And JBG is coming in this match, but it looks like FanFox is going to get the tag out too. No, he was slow. Too slow. And JBG right on top of him. And now some, oh, nice no. counter there by FanFox. He's got to get that tag streaming blood and he's going right over to lemon excellent excellent awareness by fan fox <laughs> that's a good point it was fox on fox man. Yep. <laughs> oh, double axe handle just dropped lemon there tying up those legs trying to wear him down maybe take away that lemon drop ah yes of course that's the uh that's the analytical mind of JBG. Indeed. Oh, beautiful European <laughs> uppercut there. Drops JBG in that unfriendly corner, but he's able to get up to his feet and get kicked in the face. <laughs> Hello, Foxamania. Oh. IPA taking on former champs dressed for business. Oh. Yeah, exactly. JBG, if he can work out a yoga routine, he can work out how to take away the strength of his opponent. There's That's a true. lemon and there drop. There is though. that lemon drop. And Lemon, what's he doing here? It took a long time to decide. Going to wrench that knee. And uh, nice back and Ooh. forth between these two. Oh, he missed with the trouble in paradise. Oh, and the good and cutter. The good cutter. Oh, my and, uh, God. And Fanbox is sleeping on those ropes over there. This could be trouble. But two two cap lemon saves himself. Fanbox is not conscious on those ropes. Unbelievable. If Lemon's going to save this match for them, he's got to get something going. Looks like, yep, Fanbox is up and moving again. I thought. I thought I thought JBG and it won there, but yeah, Lemon showing how I good too. he is. Yeah, I thought it. I thought he did too. Snap suplex Beautiful. by Lemon. Still not going for the tag out though. You know, Fanfox has taken a lot of damage here. And this is the classic dress for business. The monkey flip. Maybe shouldn't have sent him to that friendly corner though. Got to get him out of there before the tag comes in. <laughs> yep. He's got more celebrations than moves. Yes. <laughs> he does, yeah. <laughs> he's fucking jacked, though, isn't he? <laughs> oh, God. Don't it, well, it's... he's inflated, all right. Yep. Jumping. Well, I think he caught him. <laughs> you know, jumping nothing. Lemon looking a little frustrated now. A little winded, too. Doesn't know what else to do to JBG to keep him down. Sure looks like JBG is down. Now he's just going to celebrate. <laughs> Classic Lemon. Absolutely. Gave him a nice big breather while he jumped around like an idiot. <laughs> One more time in with this maneuver. <laughs> the 
he's right back in on JVG. Really could be closing this one out. And nope, doesn't even hang on for the pin there. Oh, oh is JVG going to make the pin? Oh, no. Oh, he inter intercepted. Oh. Ah, he's looking for that trouble in paradise. Calling it. <laughs> Nails it. JBG is down. He's got to be out. Will Fanfox be able to protect this pin? Here they come. Oh, he do Fanfox oh, does he protect did. it. Fanfox was all over that one, but JBG able to hang on and keep them alive in this match. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> there we go. Fanfox has been annihilated. Holy shit. Yeah. Foxmania looks pretty tired, though. Yeah, all four of these guys have been through the ringer at this point. And again, they both had big WrestleMania in 24 hours. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gut wrench, beautifully done. And now finally the tag out. Can Foxmania close this out? You know, he's got that Fox lock. That is a surefire way to win a tag match. It absolutely is, yeah. And he, is he going to go he's for looking, it right now? Yeah, he's looking at something here. Big boot coming, maybe? No, no. Fox Lock it is. Fox Lock. He heard the commentary. Lemon's got to Lemon's got to tap out. He's got to think about Mania, and he does. Yeah. Lemon's going to tap out of that one, and the Yorkshire boys are going to win this one. What a match, though. That could have gone either way. YPA on top of Dressed for Business. Yeah, really great match. Great performance. From the YPA. Hello, Otter Oil. Press the business. Hello, Otter Oil. Indeed. Well, I'm sure excited for that three on three match. YPA versus the crew that CR Capital EWE. It's a sheep thing, guys. <laughs> Should be a wild one. And then on the other side of things, dressed for business, taking on Rude Ham. Mm. I'll pretend like I'm excited for that one, too. <laughs> Gotta know Shawnee somewhere is uh, he's wiping his no, hands there, wringing his hands out, excited. He's looking. Uh, oh baby! Oh, wow. I will defend. I will defend. Glorious! Thank you very, very much, Fox and Mania. Glorious! No, I won't Unbelievable. give in until I'm victorious. I don't know if there's audio going on from and that I or not right defend. now. There is, yeah. I will defend. There will be for a bit, <laughs> but uh. I think mean, that's two so far. Thank you so much. Absolutely glorious. glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And oh I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> oh, yes, Ansi. That's a great idea. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't All right, give this in is the one I'm waiting for, folks. There's, I'm a lot of, there's a lot more at stake in this I one than you think. Skirmezzo versus Table Leg Wanger. These two, to my knowledge, have never fought before. Extreme rules match, you know, Skrull would have preferred this backstage. Glorious. But, you know, <laughs> no, as Jim mentioned on the card, this is kind I'm of our discussion. These are the two top, top picks I by us defend. for who's going to answer the Wem Dope Open Challenge on Sunday. Well, if Skirmezzo had that early feud against Jimmy Fantastic over the world title, never saw his due in it, maybe wants to come to WrestleMania and take a title away from him. And, of course, we don't need to talk much about what Table Leg Wanger versus Jimmy Fantastic has been all year in the JFW. Wanger's already taken one title off him. He'd love to take another one. Absolutely. Yes, uh, once again, thank you very, very much, WrestleMania. Absolutely glorious. Garamezzo, here he is, and he will be oh, featured tomorrow night as well in that four-way blitz pit match against Dimmy G, Elliot, and Purple Chest. And, you know, he's always going to be my pick to win those matches. We'll find out tomorrow night. That's a big one. Absolutely, yeah. skura has been great in these multi-man matches. Historically won the Rumble, of course, in shit. <laughs> Many times in stream titles, he's uh, he's dominated multi-man matches. Multi-man yeah, and backstage, backstage. brawler. Uh, yeah, backstage brawler. Of course, best known for that legendary match, one of the earliest, greatest matches in JFW <laughs> history. Skiramezzo versus the Golden Fagor, winning with that knee stomp. 
Yep. <laughs> and you know, his winning ways, they continue long past the squared circle and the backstage plays. Also, the winner three, the winner five of the SFL <laughs> Blood <did> Bowl <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just popped out there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, when I talk about his Blood Bowl winnings, you always pop out. <laughs> oh, man. There is a zero percent chance I am losing to Elf. <laughs> yeah, fuck's an idiot. There's a reason he's a backstage brawler. That, you know. <laughs> yeah, most of his matches are backstage because of the pyro budget. <laughs> Uh, you know, Table Leg has a fair few pyros on his own, too. He does indeed. Oh, dear me. I've been working with the uh, the pyrotechnics crew for my own entrance to make a grand entrance at WrestleMania for my match where I eviscerate a fucking seagull in the middle of that ring. It's gonna be something. <laughs> Oh, he actually doesn't have the pyros for the in-ring. For some reason, I thought he did. Yeah, it would be better if he did. Oh, there you go. <laughs> here we go. These two, again, I don't think they've ever fought one-on-one -on -one before. Big match here. Yeah. Will we see one of these guys? <laughs> oh, look at this by Skuro. How did he do that? Yep. A human fucking cannonball right there. <laughs> he can definitely do that in real life, folks. <laughs> I'm sure he can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Absolutely dominating <laughs> table leg right now. Will we see one of these two guys facing off for that Wemdope title on Sunday? <laughs> Glorious to <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lean Gary. The three time, three time, three time tag champ. Oh, so you must be getting real close to the shit, the shit stuff then, Ducky, or did you already get past that? It was right around that time. I think it was a little after that. Oh, look at this! Dropping the Boston Crab on the Boston Boy. Ain't no tap outs back out there, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's going to be Goliath versus uh, versus Table Leg tomorrow. Uh, somewhat like Godzilla versus King Kong, that one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that one it's going to be. Will the ring hold on for that one? Hopefully, because we got a whole weekend's worth of wrestling <laughs> to yeah. follow it. Uh, Wang has worked himself back into this one after that ferocious assault by Skuro at the start. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> oh, look at that though. Half Nelson suplex. And oh. Skuro feeling it now. Oh, boy. He's toying with Wanger here. That might be a mistake against the guy who's, who's twice your size when you're already a pretty big human being. Well, at least in one direction. Skuro toying with his Wanger live on TV. <laughs> I'd pay to see it. Pepper Biscuits already did. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, Ducky. You'll be... You'll be in for a treat. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> that's not that's not true. <laughs> I'm kinda happy someone's going chronologically through the vaults. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, Jason. Well, ref yeah. Yeah, ref taking a little bit of incidental contact there, and now Wanger just teeing Oof. off with no ref to count those blows and knock Skuro out of here. <laughs> ah, just a one time. <laughs> just an instant kick out. Casual. Yes, that's true, Anson. Glorious. 
No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. No, here comes that patented uh, top rope elbow, maybe. Nope. Jimmy, Scurrow to his it feet too quick. Like maybe a double axe handle. You were using the C nut word and <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Wagner took a Raging bad fall about there. You've and now he might way. be eating a pop up power bomb <laughs> for his misstep. Look at that. Scurrow could take this one right here, right now. Oh, pop up power bomb right into the pin. One, two, no! Three. No, he kicked out at two. Wanger still in it. Girl can't believe it. Wanger with the old Triple H 2.9 kick out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Glorious. Ah, uh, Tony. Yes, in the midst of that, thank you very much, Tony. Plays poorly for staying fantastic for 49 glorious months. Oh, oh! Another two and a half count kick out. Thank you very much, Tony. Absolutely glorious. The man who made it, made it all possible. This girl calling to the crowd, telling them it's mania time. And he is Mr. WrestleMania as far as anyone's concerned, because we haven't had one yet. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll find out who Mr. WrestleMania is. Seeing <laughs> yeah, this is the first one that's ever happened, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The first hey, if either of these guys could win their Saturday match and go on to win Sunday, they would be the winningest uh, WrestleMania competitor in JFW history because no one else has th two matches. That's very true, yeah. Glorious. To my knowledge. I don't believe anyone does, yeah. I don't think they do, no. It is, yeah, 12 who Beaver pregnancies. Glorious. Girl going top rope again. This is about a 50 50 for him, usually. <laughs> oh, God. Boone's called coming. Oh. Yep, there's the knees. Yep. And that could be his undoing. Found Wanger's knees. And he's up to his feet slow. Big elbow to stagger him. And oh, now, pile look driver. out. Pile driver. Oof. Seen that in matches before. Oh, oh. Seen that in careers before. It sure have. Scurro not countering there on the stand-up. A DDT to follow and the pinfall that could do it. Ref real slow to count though. One count kick out. <laughs> Probably a two count if the ref had been uh been oh. all there. Here we go. Shooting up the band though. Look out, Scurro. Oh. oh, he caught him and down he goes, and that's probably gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> no, two count kick out again. Skrull stays in it. What a match. It's incredible, isn't it? Put these two in the ring before. Now he's going top rope. Table leg has a much better hit rate with his top ropes. Screwed one up earlier, though. Oh, and that and one. Screws that one up, too. <laughs> Big splash to the knees. Skrull to his feet. He's got a chance here. No, no, no chance. <laughs> Side Russian leg sweep ends that right off the bat. And Skuro is not moving. <laughs> just trying to smother him here with his pin attempt. I know that, you know, he knew he wasn't going to get the, the one, two, three, but just trying to exhaust him a bit more, isn't he? Yeah. And now, looking for a weapon. This is Extreme Rules. These it two have been indeed. playing it pretty clean thus far. Oh, ladders. He's got a, a ladder, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Evil intentions there if he even picks it up again. We'll find out. <laughs> he tries to pick it up. Well, it could be his yeah. undoing. Yeah, it sure could have been. He might have planned that poorly. Probably should have grabbed like a... Oh, Skrull sends him out. Oh, look oh, out. Oh, shit. Skrull going to fly. Oh. oh, the wrecking ball over the top rope. Skurro put him down. What a match, folks. Incredible. Skurro rolls him in. He's coming in now. He's going to go right for the pin. No. Yep. Yes, he is going for the pin. Is this it? Ooh. No, two count kick out. Match continues. Folks, this could have been our main event tonight, but we do have one hell of a main event in store. We do indeed. It'll be the Unnatural Snackers versus Six Feet Down Under, minus their leaders. Tag team action. Look out. Skurro planning something evil outside the ring. Oh. Package pile driver. No, countered. <laughs> countered by Wanger and tossed off. Tosses off Skurro. 
Oh. I hope Squirrel's taking notes. Dee tees him onto the 14 feet of concrete down there. Unpadded, too. Yeah. It was really glorious. Yeah, the mystery reveal was glorious. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Swats away the drop kick on the big man. That's hard to do. Squirrel just desperately punching here, trying anything to get in this match. And oh, oh look out! Winds him up and drops him on his back on that concrete. Maybe gonna send him in the ring now. No, oh. this battle. Oh gosh, Skurro's bleeding. Edbutt to Skurro and he's busted open. But he sends Wanger in. He's going right after him here. Well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. This taunts kind of suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KO taunts. Oh, look at this though by Skurro. Oh no, the counter on. No, oh. it's not. Big Buster. The old Triple H face buster, glorious. Ah, beautiful stuff. Oh, but countered here by Wanger. Oh! Oh, the super kick out of nowhere with that. And oh. That would have knocked Skuro out. That's got to be it. Oh! oh <laughs> Last second, that's like a two and nine tenths kick out. Skuro is, is still in this. Wanger can't believe it. Look at the blood on Skuro's forehead. Again, has won possibly two matches this weekend. Wanger admonishing the crowd right now as he stomps away at Skuro. <laughs> Glorious match going on here. Incredible stuff. Hello, Flicky Hello, Flick. Flicky. Hello, Flick Streamer. Oh, now he's going to try and submit him. He might get him with this. Skuro trying to roll it over there. Is he going to tap? He's got to think about his other match tomorrow night. It is Mania. No, he's going to keep fighting. I don't know if there's a clip, uh, and I don't know which, where, when it was, when was it revealed? Oh, oh here we go! Fast Rolls one. over for the pin. Oof! Skuro kicks out. When was that? Was it Fastlane uh, the reveal? Yes. Right, there you go. You can watch it the Fastlane, uh, the Fastlane YouTube. Oh, here we go! It's, oh, a, it's the third, third super kick. Oh! Oh, he catches the leg! Catches the leg! Drops the elbow on the knee, trying to take that move away from him. And here comes Skuro. This is it. This is his last chance. you got to believe. Desperation maneuvers by Skuro to try and end this match, going right for the pin. He's got him. Oh! Yeah, two and a half again. What a match. What a match. How have these two never fought before? I don't know. I tell you what, if this was at WrestleMania, they both have a claim to be Mr. WrestleMania, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think so. I want to see these guys team up, I think. Oh, <laughs> pump handle slam by Skuro. Oh, but the counter by Wang. <laughs> oh, unbelievable neck breaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, PC coming in. Not huh? giving up that extra half inch. What a waste of energy. Come on. <laughs> Two count kick out again. <laughs> Oof, vicious elbow. Drops it right to the sternum there. Going in for the pin. Skuro might be done here. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, glorious Tom. Look out. Oh. Power bomb, not the pop up. Oh, he's hanging on. I think I know what he's doing here. He's going to spin it over. Yep. No. Spins it over for the Boston Crab. <laughs> A wanger tap to it. <laughs> oh, no one's ever tapped to the Boston Crab. <laughs> he is as thick as Tony's neck. A lot, of, a lot of weird descriptors have been used for penis. <laughs> and here's the pin. He's got him. He's got him and Skuro out last Wanger. What a match. No one taps out to the Boston Crab, but they get pinned shortly after. <laughs> My God, what an absolute war between these two. Sure was, and Skuro getting the big win, but how much was taken out of him? He's got a four-way dance. Skuro against Purple Chest, Elliot, and, well, three and a half, I guess, because Demi's one of them. <laughs> Demi! Wanger can't believe it, but hey, 
I think we're going to see those guys multiple times this weekend. Some of Someone's going to come after Jimmy's Wem Dope title, and I think it might be that man right there, Skirmetsu. Maybe. Oh, boy, what a match. Absolutely. Takes a lot out of you, and now, I guess this is now one of our best matches historically. Might have to be the piss break match. <laughs> it's a four-way extreme elimination match. Plim Plom Pluserweights, of course, on Sunday chamber match for the vacated Plim Plom Pluserweight title. We don't know any of the six competitors who will enter the elimination chamber. You gotta believe one, if not all four of these guys will be in that match because these are top tier, all of them former Plim Plom Pluserweight champions. Yeah, it's a good point, isn't it? Yeah, all, literally all of them have been the champ. Yeah, Pretty it's cool. like someone planned that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna refill my water. I'll be right back. Sweet. Yeah, this is uh, the very first one was Le Bread Mask, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit dodgy, but uh, yeah, Le Bread Mask was the first, I believe. GFK was a long, long had a nice long reign. Papa Piccolo made multiple defenses, and uh, Elliot existed. <laughs> Plim, plum, plume. <laughs> the glorious. Making his way to the ring from Montreal. My mic's cutting out again. That's unfortunate. It did Let me see how it sounds right now. It did a little bit during that bit, yeah. Right, hang on. Ha ha ha. Red mask, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Hello, Morida. <laughs> All right, how am I sounding now? A little bit better? Perfect. Oh yeah, this end of one of the one of the one of the classic JFW entrances. This isn't. It? Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time since we saw this one. Do you remember in the 2K16 days when Skuro originally came out to this? No. But this, oh yeah, he used to do the, the Asuka move wow. like for like a day and then we're like, fuck that. Classic double belt, thanks to Shawnee. <laughs> yeah, Shawnee. A duck in JFW, it's hard, PC. We've got a fucking seagull, so how do you do a duck? <laughs> yeah, there's no duck bill mask. That would be the easiest way. Just do a normal looking wrestler with a duck bill mask a la. Uh, squirrel dude. Yeah, that'd be incredible. Yeah. Just, just, look, just like a fucking duck mask, you know? Like they've got a bunny mask and stuff. If they just had a full duck head, yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm all set without that. Well, this ain't no duck, but it sure can dance. It's Elliot. Yes, yeah, auntie, yeah. <laughs> And 
And here he is, one of the toughest Plim Plom Pluserweight champions uh, with a great run a few months back. Papa Piccolo would love to walk in uh, and walk out with the gold, get another big run going, proving he belongs. You know, he's always kind of an afterthought in the Plim Plom Pluserweight division, but he is a hell of a competitor, especially when he has his hands on that belt. Yep. Sadly not Bezel though. <laughs> yeah, Purple Chest is pretty incredible. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's a good point, Flicky, yeah, career versus career. Help may well be unemployed after tomorrow night. Well after this Sunday night even. <laughs> may well be definitely <laughs> fucking will be <laughs> and here we go four way elimination match extreme elimination match some of the best matches in JFW history that didn't take back didn't take place backstage against Skurmetso and the Golden Fagor <laughs> were these types of matches. That's absolutely true, yeah. <laughs> oh man, PC and Flicky Flag going at it like hell you're not a miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I am looking at the ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, not to keep you awake or anything, but Elliot just grabbed the structural kendo stick <laughs> and uh, dropped it immediately as LeBred Mask descended upon him. GFK mm. taking it to Papa Piccolo, and yep, the structural kendo stick removed from the ring and completely forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> That's PP for PowerPoint, not penis. <laughs> yeah, well, Flicky, Flicky Flack, if you're... Uh, if your uh, connection to the fans uh, has anything to do with your lack of billing on any WrestleMania card matches, uh, <laughs> I think you've got your answer on how much uh, the fans adore you. <laughs> Sometimes the gorilla's are savage, isn't he? <laughs> mm, hey, I just call it like I see it, Jim. <laughs> yep. You know, you know. Oh, Whoa. look at this by Lebrenna's beautiful springboard uh, uh, moonsault there, and the double jerk off the boot. <laughs> the bread mask has been on fire since coming back to the JFW <laughs> after nearly being executed. Yeah. Jim says final act of charity saving his life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. It's the JFW flicky if you're not expecting low blows. Ah, Lemon, hi. Yeah, you missed a hell of a match earlier. Oh, Lemon, well, I mean, you, you didn't win, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you didn't, but it was a hell of a match. It was a great match. It was a great match. <laughs> it would have been a better match if Skirmetso versus Wanger hadn't happened, but... Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you can get it back tomorrow, dressed for business, taking on Rude Hammer. Oof. I already forgot again. <laughs> taking on Rude Ham in a much anticipated <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Massively anticipated. <laughs> oh, Elliot, two count kick out to stay Ooh. in this elimination match. Power Piccolo, what a performance. And again, to, or, uh, Sunday on WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber, if you're not familiar with the format, 
There are four pods around the ring, and two men start in the ring. Oh, nice split-legged. He's got him. No, he does not have him. Four pods around the ring, each opening every two minutes, adding one more competitor to an elimination match to start in the ring. We don't know who any of the six competitors are. I put money on all four of these guys. Oh, no, the back to the ass. Hit him right in the bread cheeks. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. He's unperturbed. It is yeah. Friday, and he is the Friday Night Fuckboy. Those ass cheeks are used to taking a pound. Oh. A self rock bottom patented by Le Bread Mask himself. The pin on Papa Piccolo. Two Ooh. count kick out again. GFK going to fly. He's bleeding. <laughs> He's bleeding. Is he going to hit? Probably no one. Oh, no. He oh. drops the elbow through everyone practically. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Uh, yeah, Lemon. Yeah, the extreme lemon drop was glorious. Oh, Blue Thunder Bomb doesn't go for the pin. Got to worry about GFK here. Elliot making a fierce comeback. The pin on GFK. He's bleeding. He might be done here. He is. Two count kick no. out. LeBred Mask has assumed the position outside the ring, folks. <laughs> Dominating here from Papa Piccolo, isn't it? Three it moves is. and eight taunts. What else do you need? <laughs> yeah, and again, how many times have we seen this from Papa Piccolo? Oh, what a maneuver. <laughs> LeBred Mask right back up again. Completely. Friday night fuckboy not to be denied. Completely no sells. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Haven't seen a whole lot from GFK yet. Oh, look oh, at this, though. Oh, oh. Lines them all up, links them down. Like a theatrical... The extra flip, get, yeah. The extra flips get him a lot more momentum. That might have put, uh, no, it did not. It did not put the bread mask uh, out there. And now Elliot looking to get rowdy. Oh. Self rock bottom flips over, hooks the legs around, and that might be a tap out for Papa Piccolo. Another structural send up kit. Oh, stick. annihilates the bread mask. Yeah, I'm shocked the ring is still standing with all those structural kendo sticks pulled out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, PC. <laughs> Pretty much. Still cooler than fucking Flicky's stupid old school. Oh, look at this. No, we're doing the old pickup put down. TFK cupping the balls there on the bread mask. Can't get him up. <laughs> and the self rock bottom that might end GFK's run tonight. Yep. And it does. does. GFK out first. That might bode poorly for him making the elimination chamber. Whoa, God, look at that. Oh, off the chair. <sighs> Busts him open. And then LeBred Mask taken down, too. Papa Piccolo, severe advantage right now. <laughs> Extreme gonna, elimination uh, is not false count anywhere, though. He's got to get him in the ring for the pin. Yep. Things always get a little more interesting when it's down to three because they can't pair off well. Mm. And yep, and that is exactly why getting distracted probably should have tried to eliminate LeBred Mask there. Let him get up and... <laughs> oh, disaster kick! Just about caught him. Shades of Cody Rhodes there. Mm. Oh, look out, though! I believe that's Papa Piccolo's finisher. Who knows? <laughs> the the the, uh, uh, the handoff. <laughs> his breaths are good at handing off, right? Yeah. Oh, and look at that. No, this might be his finisher. Oh, this could be it for yeah, the for Lebred Mask. The, the old Burt Cuddler Doom. Yeah. Lebred Mask hangs on somehow. Oh, these men, look at Elliot out there, assuming the position. Yep, and see. Yep. How old were you that? Oh, went for the arc play. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Spiked his head. 
LeBred masking a bad time to celebrate, though. <laughs> oh! The rowdy this lock. Is, this has got to do it. Oh, my goodness. Elliot sneaking in there. Will he get the tap out? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't know. Rowdy. The bread mask hanging on. He's going to get pinned instead. Oh, the classic pin after the submission. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that's going to do it for Tom Schniz. And we're down to two. Both of them busted and color, over. Yeah, of color flying. Elliot looking a little bit like Bleeding Hippie there, the boy who lived. <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. Breaking Dad TLC match for the two heads titles this Sunday against Cock and Ball Torture and Das Hats. And both of those teams are going to be competing against each other, I believe, in the very next match. Yeah. And there is the card for Mania. There you go. Oh baby. I don't I don't even remember. Oh dear me. <laughs> the shit flinger. <laughs> yeah. And this match, man, everyone giving it their all to open up WrestleMania. Well, this is going to be, this show is setting a high bar for the weekend, folks. It is. Um, oh, I don't know, Ducky. It, it just, you know, we just thought he looked shit. And then that was what I did to try and make him look yeah. less shit. Because he was just so gold, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, that structural kendo stick. Oh, he's too slow with it. And Elliot able to chop him and backbreaker him. Oh, almost threw up there. That was weird. <laughs> I was like burping as I talked, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> um, just right into the mic. I'm sure everyone would love that. Who's wearing headphones? Full stolen XP. <laughs> Elliot's got his pick of weapons out there. Doesn't seem to want to go for any of them. But he's popping off his finisher outside the ring here. That could be a mistake it because be. he's not tapping out there. Huge mistake by Elliot. He's still, the damage is going to be done. <laughs> that, that's Well, that's Saturday. So if you show up Sunday, you'll have probably been disqualified by then. PC. <laughs> Yeah, it's over two nights, PC, over two nights. Saturday is half of the matches and half of the matches on Sunday. It's going to be absolutely yeah. glorious. Yeah, you and you and Skurro uh, didn't make the uh, the main card. You made the shitters card. The no, consolation it, it, there's card. two days and... <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That brutal. Got the Gyms of the Ring Memorial Rumble headlining Saturday, and then the title matches are on, and are on the Sunday, basically. Yep. Come on, you couldn't have gleaned all that information in our very succinct 18-minute-long card. Yeah, we probably should have split that in half, shouldn't we? But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? The people who I think it's pretty it, entertaining it. content. Yeah, I it's entertaining it's content. Yeah. Better than watching you be miserable at Blood Bowl for an hour and a half. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at the end of the day, people who want to who want to watch it will watch it, right? It doesn't matter that it's not yeah. like. It's not like we were just like reading teams. the matches. Like we were actually talking about them and being animated. Well, one of us was. Yeah, but like <laughs> you know, what I mean? it probably would have been better to have a Saturday one and a Sunday one, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Because yeah. people who will watch it will have the uh, attention span to watch both. <laughs> exactly. I, I was more concerned that if we put two out, it would get confusing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. God, Papa Piccolo looks like his forehead's been skinned. <laughs> it does, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> and if his mask wasn't so shiny, it would look like his face had been flayed off. Jesus. <laughs> 
We were technically both talking. Oh, yes, but... this could be it here. Submission on. Can Elliot oh, hang on? No, he can't. Elliot tags out. He knows he's got that blitz pit match tomorrow. Tags out and Papa Piccolo going into Elimination Chamber with a huge win. You got to believe he's going into that match. And will he be walking out with the gold or will one of five other surprise entrants claim the Plim Plum Pluserweight title? Yeah, and you've, you've got to wonder as well uh, if he's going to have some kind of reconstructive surgery on his flayed forehead. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, congratulations to Papa to Piccolo. Big win for him. It's literally miraculously healed <laughs> during the Cosmo match. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, he wipes it down. Oh, it's, still, oh, it's come it's still back. It's coming back. Oh, God, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's come back. He's fully, he's fully opened up again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, looks, that looks so bad, doesn't it? Out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see if that has an impact on his performance on Sunday. Assuming he makes the match, he will. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, and now boy. here it is, folks. The two competitors trying to take back the titles they both recently lost. CBT versus DOS Hats. These two guys are going to go on in traditional tag team action tonight. And then on Sunday triple threat TLC match against the champs breaking storm that's breaking dad Matt storm here we go the greatest of all time Doss hats against the dirtiest of all time <laughs> cock and ball torture oh baby absolutely glorious of course Sheila will not be able to uh, assist them at ringside with uh, the TLC match so you know maybe they'll They'll get they'll use this advantage to get a cheeky one up before the uh, before mania. There you go. Maybe. Hello, Tom Schnees. Bessel. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, works in uh, in quotation marks. Yeah, indeed, Tom Schnees. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully Schnizz, second man eliminated in that four-way. Hopefully he still did enough to make the cut. The original Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, the Friday fuckboy. Will he make it to the six-man elimination chamber match for the Plim Plum Pluserweight title? Try and bookend a year of JFW action by starting with and ending with that title. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and folks if you didn't see the card yet you know looming looming in the main event of wrestlemania extra arms bought in an iron man match against rick reckless extra arms bought will be out next with some words for rick reckless and folks you do not want to miss that oh boy i've got a feeling it's when... going to be the greatest promo of all time <laughs> When EAB <laughs> speaks, you better fucking listen. <laughs> now Bezel's logging into EAB to see what I made him type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you shouldn't have bet against us. Yeah, they always seem to find a way to win. Sometimes some would say underhanded, you know, but... They, they've done the business time and time again, Das Hats. It's hard to argue with our record. <laughs> uh, you may not like their methods, but yep. there you go. Papa Piccolo won the uh, Plim Plum Pluserweight match. Yep. I mean, again, they aren't, you know, it's not wrong to say, you know, racking up title wins just means you lost the title that many times. But no one has won a title four times in the JFW. Uh, being the four time champs. If they weren't already, they certainly are the greatest of all time. Can they cement their legacy this Sunday in a triple threat TLC match? We've seen them win those titles in that type of match before. Of course, the famous moment where Oriolensis levitated over the ring to get the win. 
Yes, Monitor. <laughs> but they win anyway. A hello star. Hello star. I'm gonna be right back just in one moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I um well no, it was just it was a it was a long promo. <laughs> but I definitely did fuck up a few times. <laughs> And then I started making him say things about me being better at Blood Bowl than Jim because I'm the winner 3-5. But that didn't that won't make this promo. And here we go, starting off in the ring, Lean Gary versus uh, Cocky. Cocky, a very even matchup to start here, trading blows, countering each other's best efforts here. Yeah, I was I was actually wondering, Bezel, if it like like showed up on your computer and you're just like, why is Skuro making EAB tell him privately, you are the winner three and the winner five, and thus you must be better at you must be thirty-five times better at Blood Bowl than Jim. Kaki, uh, Kaki sent into the corner here, and this is where Doss Hats really finds their meals. So good on the quick tag, so good on the dirty maneuvers and controlling the ref. <laughs> Fair enough, Bezel. <laughs> I was worried Bezel saw all of the uh, things I made EAB say for me. <laughs> He's like my sex slave without the sex. <laughs> Don't. Tell me I won SFL again. <laughs> Say it. Say it, EAB. <laughs> Tell me I'm pretty. The funny thing is, he's not lying. <laughs> I, I would post that link in here, but I, I can't right now. <laughs> I think you should make that a sound uh, a sound effect, Jim, for all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should do. Oh, God, it was brilliant. <laughs> Moradam drinking it in. He's gotten one kick in in this match thus far. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. Oh, look at that. Reverse backstabber, gut stabber. And the literal fucking goblin taking it. Well, no, he's getting a little... I think WrestleMania might be a big weekend for Moradam here. Might be... Uh... Might be not seeing the forest for the trees here. Getting a little distracted, drinking in the energy of the crowd. Oh my God, more damn! <laughs> for fuck's sake, man! Yeah, yeah. This, this. You can't really say you didn't deserve that atomic drop, more damn. <laughs> that one's on you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And the easy tag out to the from the injured Lean Gary. The country wizard is back in this match. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was like watching Lemon is Good. <laughs> uh, here we go. Moradam now. He's fired up now. Maybe he just wanted the old man. Yeah, maybe. Wants the old those, man balls. Wants those prunes over the plums. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough, Flicky. I get, I get that you're pretty desperate. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> once I once I once I destroy Elp in the ring on Sunday, <laughs> we'll talk we'll talk about the future of uh, <laughs> of Flicky Flack in the JFW. Maybe it would help if you uh, abandon the old school though. <laughs> oh dear me. The and the country wizard oh no chin breaker there to counter the country wizard here comes Moradam. he really has to uh, make up for his uh poor decisions oh, earlier in this match and 
pile driver ain't gonna do it. Oh, can you get that hot tag? He, he does. does. Dives out for the hot tag. The best thing Wardam's done in this match is tag out. <laughs> Here comes piss pants. <laughs> Slide is way too cool a name for that move. Yeah, yeah, no, no. There's a, uh, there's the, there's the. It's like the clothesline from hell, isn't it? That's what he's got. Oh, uh, okay. I think he's, Ooh. I think he's still wrenching got that hammy up. I think he's got the old school. Skill. I think he did it in his last match. Yeah, I think he's still got old school. Yeah. Here we go. A ref distracted by Morgan. Mordam is a fucking. <laughs> he's a he's a liability in this match. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the wizard sleeve the elbow. The... Oh, the we've seen this end matches before, folks. Cocky in trouble here. Can Mordam at least get in the ring and win this? <laughs> Cock goblin, probably. <laughs> Oh, wow. I Zone couldn't. I couldn't think of the word liability for a minute there. <laughs> oh, hundred fifty thousand cyan dream oh. here, folks. Oh, oh. No, figure four leg lock. Oh boy, figure four leg lock locked in. What the fuck is but it the looks ref like it's going to get reversed on him. <laughs> reversed on him, and he has to break the hold, and that took a bit out of both of those men. Yep. Quick tag, oh god, look at this, straight on the spurs of Lean Gary, brutal. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Ribcracker. Big Lariat there, taking down Kaki. Oh, Sheila's having a bit of a circle game. <laughs> the classic, the classic managerial technique. <laughs> Walking <laughs> round and round in circles. Moradam gets in to break it up. Hey, Moradam contributing. Oh, go <laughs> Oh, no! Moradam able to deftly get around them. Oh, no, he was just setting him up, folks. He was setting him up for this top rope maneuver here. Oh! Oh, he lands the big splash. You don't see Lean Gary fly off, and, and now maybe that scorpion death drop. Oh, God, yeah. And maybe with Ori Lynch is still in the ring to defend it. No, nope, well, nope, no, he's, he's out it. now. We'll see what happens here. Moradam's very quick. Moradam coming in, yeah. One count broken up. He had him, though, if not for Moradam. Drop kick by Moradam, too. Moradam's taking Wow, look at this. Here. Finally, this the goblin turning, turning it on. And now both legal men down in the ring here. Dirty punch there. Lead Gary having no more. More of Mordam's bullshit. <laughs> Fucking leathered him. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally legal. Yeah. Oh, wow. I haven't seen Whoa, that before. Oh, nice maneuver by Doss Hats. Oh, now Mordam's in. Yeah, absolutely breaking that. I don't even know what the card is for, for the real WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, Natalia. Oh, only a one count. Got to put some work in to win this. And taunting again. Classic no. Moradam. Oh, God. Not, <laughs> not, not this again. Moradam is just really... He's loving this big spot. But he's got to try and get the win here. I don't know what happened there. Kaki assuming the position outside. Oh, it's Moradam's other move. <laughs> yep, he does love that move. Uh, yeah, Oriolensis could smell that ball shot coming and dove out of the ring. <laughs> oh! oh but he came right back into a testicular claw. Fresh prunes. <laughs> well, it's his fucking This is other move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's getting ready for the ball shot. Yeah, look out, look out. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Orelensis has taken a fair few of those in his career. <laughs> and right through everyone, Lean Gary breaks it up. Somehow. 
<laughs> oh, don't worry, MC. I'm sure they'll get Danny Dyer next year. <laughs> <laughs> Still a few spots you can make it and could. I mean, a former champion, it's hard to say that you deserve a spot in WrestleMania when you're not employed by the company. But <laughs> that Elimination Chamber match, those six flip flop loser weights, you know, we've probably got about 10 viable guys that could take those spots. But we'll see. <laughs> yep. That's very likely. That's You'll show just... up at Claw, assuming you're in the main event of Mania. <laughs> 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 steel balls. I've got balls of steel. There you go. Well, have you been practicing your climbing for the for the TLC part of the, or the the T part of the LC match there, Breaking Dad? I think he's gonna leave that to Matt Storm, isn't he? He's yeah, the... maybe. Although Ooh. I be oh look at this another Ooh. testicular claw. <laughs> I guess he's going one at a time on Oriolensis. <laughs> He's just trying to eat them there, I think, threw himself on it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and here's the pin. Here in comes everyone. Ooh. Whoa. Look a circuitous way. It looks like he punched. It looks like Lee and Gary punched Doria Lenses in the balls to break that pin <laughs> really up. Did, but yeah. I guess whatever keeps the match alive. <laughs> Maybe Ori Lenses has cast a spell on his balls to protect himself. I bet he wishes uh, he did if he did. Doesn't seem like it. Well, I. Oh my God! It's a good thing he's like 75 because he ain't using those anymore. <laughs> and then Gary and, but Lean Gary clutch again. Oh man! You see Lean Gary very happy to get out of the ring as soon as he broke that pin up, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh one God. more time! Oh, stomps on him. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Positive. I mean, Oriolensis can tell you in great detail what's targeted by that punch. <laughs> yeah, it's very good, very good. Indeed. Oh, the oh self, self rock, rock bottom. bottom. Staple of the JFW. I can't w. imagine. I cannot imagine Oriolensis kicking out of a pin here. It's all up to Lean Gary to try and save this one. Yep. Of course, the last time Cock and Ball Torture won the titles, it was in that epic four-way elimination match, I believe. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, it was really a three-way because Lemon got inst instantly eliminated. <laughs> but, uh... Oriolensis was the last man standing against both members of Cock and Ball Torture, so he is very well versed in what CBT has on offer for their opponents, and he is enduring it here, but I don't think he's got much left in him, knowing he's got a title match on Sunday. And there's the hot tag to, to Lean Gary, and Lean Gary is in the <laughs> ring to get bitch slapped instantly. <laughs> nice. Well, Sling Blade there, it was a slow start for the literal fucking goblin. But he's gotten going now. Hasn't he just? He's like a freight train. A tiny green freight train. <laughs> yep. I don't think that's where you want to pin him. No, Cocky wasn't interested <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Cocky's still Cocky's been a little stunned on that on that uh on that apron over there. Yeah. And he did beat uh he did beat Das Hats in a in a handicap match once, didn't he? So did he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Mm. So maybe he's, uh, you know, maybe he's just playing possum. <laughs> well, you can't, you can't, you can't rule out anything from these teams, except maybe Oriolens is ever fathering a child. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. A discus kick coming. Oh no. Rick to the eyes oh, first yep. to set it yep. up. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness, and Lean Gary's down. And CBT might have this. Oh, oh Moradam. I think Moradam was celebrating again. <laughs> oh, that was awful from Moradam. Yeah. Somehow, a man whose balls have just been surgically, well, not surgically, but have been removed from him violently in the ring <laughs> was able to beat him to the punch 
<laughs> at half his age. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Look at this. Wow, the power from Lean Gary. Good power, yeah, good power by Lean Gary. Pops a Pops squat. Pops a squat. <laughs> And in comes Mordem one more time. Punch to the ribs there. Surprised he didn't go a little lower. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Nice counter by Lean Gary. Big back body drop. Huge. Huge. Drops the elbow. And he gets something going here to try and end this match. Oh, the trapezius clutch. We've seen that in matches before, folks. We have indeed, yeah. E A B is... Uh... Made flat fart, didn't he? Tap from that, incredible. Yeah, well, with uh, you know, with uh, respect to Lean Gary, he is no EAB in terms of crushing someone's trapezius. Absolutely not, no. And and in comes Oriolensis again, maybe trying to get a little bit of revenge here on Moradam. Maybe looking to lock in that that hundred and fifty thousand sign dream. No, going again to the figure four. Well, more damn tap here. Will he make him tap? No, oh, he turns it over on him it. again. Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I didn't. Lean Gary has one with, with it as well, yeah. Oh, no, I tell you who's uh, one with it as well. Um, oh, uh, Otter Royal has yeah. one with it. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. Otter Royal won with it. Yeah, a few people have. It's a popular yeah. move. Yeah, it's yeah. no Boston Crab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's for damn sure. Yeah, yeah, Lean Gary's one with it, Hot Rod's one with it, but EAB famously, yeah, famously is squashing uh, fucking <laughs> flat fart. Yeah, um, they would break and dab, but sadly that you can't do that in the uh, in tag matches, unless it's uh, unless it's with like you know shit magic. Oh my god! Well, look at this. Oh no! Wow, he's going for the plum. He's tearing them off. I don't think there's much left now. <laughs> he's probably not even hurting him at this point. Yeah, he's, he's probably actually going. He's going he's going for the sausage at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he's going for the tattered remains. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Cocky gets the slide in, which gets him ahead, and he completely... <laughs> Fucking avoids Lean Gary. What the fuck was that guy? Cocky working on Australian time there, I think. <laughs> Maybe this is just tactical like this. to just completely yeah. take out Aurelensis before the uh, match on, on Sunday at WrestleMania. Yeah, it might it might do the trick for sure. <laughs> I mean Aurelensis is fucking dead. He might be weekend at Bernie'sing him through. Oh my god! <laughs> through this match. On yeah, Sunday, that's and that it. is gonna do it. Cock and ball torture, <laughs> just like 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 a pack of dogs targeting the weakest link. <laughs> and uh, Rip Oriolensis, will Dos Hats be able to recover for Sunday in their triple threat match TLC? Against Cock and Ball Torture and the Champs, Breaking Storm. Yeah, I tell you what, Aurelis is going to need a big old ice pack <laughs> on there over the next couple of days. Holy shit. <laughs> Flicky. Every time I bet on fucking Cock and Ball does that. Let's see that Country Wizard walk up a ladder Sunday after that. Prick. Well, if. if <laughs> If history's told us anything, Moradam, it's that uh, he doesn't need to walk up a ladder. He can just float up it. That's very true, yeah. Glorious. Thank you very much, Moradam. Right. Oh, God. You know what's next? It's I fucking, sure do. You, it's you, you, good to, you good to run this? Oh, yeah. EAB coming out to address Rick Reckless. And, folks, you, someone should hop over to Rick's channel right now and tell him he needs to throw on the jfw for the next five minutes yes two minutes yes I, in fact everyone everyone get over there and start spamming and ruin his stream yes oh eab is calling him out 
Yes, do that. It's required. Yeah. <laughs> EAB coming out the ringside. Here we go, folks. Oh, I'm going to mute for this one. You know this is not all men are created equal, but you look at me, and you look at Rick Reckless, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a multi-armed robot, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beat me. Then you add 20 minutes of Iron Man match to the mix, your chances of winning drastic go down. See the Iron Man at WrestleMania, you got a 33 and one third chance of winning, but I, I got a 66 and two thirds chance of winning, because I outweigh you 3 to 1, and barely have to try. So Rick Reckless, you take your 33 and one third chance, minus my 25% chance, and you got an 8 and one third chance of winning at WrestleMania. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, if we was to go one on one, and then add 66 and two third percent. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at WrestleMania. See Rick Reckless, the numbers do not lie, and they spell disaster for you at WrestleMania. Oh my god. Well that <laughs> What a statement. <laughs> oh my god, Rick is listening. Rick is listening in now. <laughs> if he if he wasn't worried about his match before, he is now. That's for damn sure. Unbelievable. <laughs> Rick is going to get wrecked. Yeah. You can't argue with that, Matt. All right, folks. And now it is time for your main event of the night. It is... The Unnatural Snackers versus Six Feet Down Under. And that's going to be Satterfield and Muppet Pac-Man versus G'day Nick and Gengar. And that's right, folks. J5 and Night Demon, Night Off. Those two guys are in it to win it. And the winning it is the World Heavyweight title. That will be on Sunday. It'll be a three-on-three -three match. The leaders can win the title. Their friends will help them get there. Will it be the heart and soul, the JFW, or will it be six feet down under the undead scourge of professional wrestling? And we're going to get a sneak peek of it right now in your main event of Friday. Stand for Oh, oh baby. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Someone, uh, someone, Ansi, you should toss a link to the, uh, the Steiner version of that if people have not, uh, seen it before. Yes, yeah. Because the, the Steiner version is great, of course. Yeah. Unfortun unfortunately, because EAB's entire existence is about giving us accurate stats, <laughs> it kind of, it kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> but it was still wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is. If you just uh, if you just Google Scott Steiner math promo, <laughs> you'll you'll find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. And see, put it in. Glorious. Thank you, Ansi. Four. M Muppet Pac-Man with the old. Here they are. Two please. thirds. Yeah, well, J5 not out there to deliver the carbs. You know, he is probably, well, at least for the length of the, the duration of this entrance, trying to make his wife smile. 
<laughs> the old troll piling on, if you will. <laughs> yep. These are the unnatural snackers, Goliath. So they, they've, they've got lots of snacks. <laughs> of course, WrestleMania this weekend sponsored by Snickers. You know that means the snackers are going to be ready for the big time. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see the snackers at Mania. <laughs> he does, yeah, more them, yeah, no. <laughs> it's not conducive to good. To good so that, that ensures that he's going to WrestleMania with the burnt roof of his mouth, isn't it, Bezel? Because he's definitely not waiting the two minutes for them to cool. <laughs> that the box tells him to. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. Oh boy. Six feet down under. Absolutely. The power bomb professional Gengar and the Gedanik. Here they come. <laughs> the fucking dead Gedanik. <laughs> yep. Murdered in cold blood by Flicky Flack. A long time ago now. I can hardly remember when when Gadenik was alive. <laughs> <laughs> that is that clip. Does that clip exist in its own form, or do you have to find it on the show? Uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be it'll be a clip, yeah. Yeah, of a uh, of a uh, flicky murdering Gadenik <laughs> in the ring. Yeah, I'm sure that. Got it. It's hard to even picture Gadenik. Not as a zombie anymore. I know, right? It was fucking ages ago. It was. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention tornado tag match. Oh, yeah. So this one is just going to be a massive brawl. Oh, gosh. Muppet <laughs> took out Gengar with Gedanik's body there. Big brawl in the ring here. Tornado tag, no tag ins, just a two on two beat down. Absolutely. And which one of these teams will see their leader walk away as champion? Will it be Night Demon retaining the World Heavyweight title, or will it be Johnny Five finally winning the gold? He's never carried gold in the JFW. You know, his predecessor, Mr. E, uh, did, but you know, different different names on the on the card, different different wrestlers. J5 has never actually won gold on his own. Yeah, that's true. That being said, it was Mr. E defeating oh. Night Demon for the title. So he's got experience in slaying the undead. That's very true. And there is the clip of uh Glorious. <laughs> Gadenik's death. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, good night, Vicky. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Our reactions to that are pretty fantastic, too. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, you know, Marcel McDaniels really kind of gets off scot-free in the whole murdering Gnadic thing. He did, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes, no, and that. speaking of Marcel McDaniels, folks, you heard it from general manager Teresa Mayne. Marcel versus Crusher means Marcel versus Crusher. That match scheduled for Sunday on WrestleMania, a table match. It will definitely happen, 100% going to happen, because a Tory has made a promise, <laughs> and you know how much value that has. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you thought a gym guarantee meant that something was definitely going to happen. <laughs> You haven't seen a Tory guarantee. 
Yeah. Oh, look out. Look out. Gadeen oh, sent into the ropes and through the ropes. 6 1 9 from Muppet. Oh, I under stomp, the double stomp from Gengar. And the, oh, my God. Here's the pin here by Muppet. No. Gengar right there to break it up. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Swatted him out of the air. Incredible. Jesus, this just looks like a murder, doesn't it? <laughs> the size of Muppet compared to the size oh of Gengar. Oh my god. Yeah, it sure does. Satterfield needs to get in there on Gengar. A little bit uh, a little bit better on the size discrepancy. Wow, big headbutt. This would almost kicks. be an Among Us match if Gengar played Among Us. Yeah. All these kicks from Satterfield, outrageous. Well, when you got tiny feet, you got to know how to use them. <laughs> yep. Muppet, Muppet, of course, a stone cold killer in Among Us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look out! Gonna fly to the outside. Maybe. Maybe. Oh no! Oh no! Watch out, Gade or uh, Satterfield's head. Getting just crushed there by G Gengar. Yeah, as Muppet just watches. <laughs> shades of, uh, shades of, what's it called? The mountain. Yeah, Game of Thrones. There, <laughs> I think he's gonna. Yep, it would have been better if it had been Muppet, though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look out! Here we go. That big running knee. No, he missed. Misses with the knee. Huge. But able to get. Nope, not able to get control here. Oh, look at that. What a count. And, uh, oh, God, Muppet. Oh, God, oh, Muppet. God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's stupid. Physics, everyone. Physics. <laughs> I don't mean the wrestler. <laughs> There's the running knee. Drills him in the head. No one to break this up. <laughs> Gengar. And he's done it. The Snacker is getting the big win. Six feet down under. They always kind of underperform when Night Demon isn't around to call the shots. And six feet down under fall to the heart and soul of the JFW, the Unnatural Snackers, getting your main event win. And, folks, it is now time for WrestleMania weekend to commence. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. UTC for night one of two in WrestleMania JFW style. My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I cannot wait to party with you all weekend, tear the wings off of a fucking seagull, and then move forward into a glorious JFW future. I will see you all tomorrow. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.